I am sitting here in the Jambulance with Hondo Miller from Laidback USA. This guy is so chill. They bring this really cool old ambulance to all of the events. Tell everybody what you guys do. Obviously, you have this really cool line of t-shirts, um, great artwork. Thank you. And you're going to so many events a year, and all of the vehicles that you're bringing, of course, are outfitted with Kicker because you gotta have tunes. We love Kicker. Right? You gotta have music. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about what your business model is and what you guys do. Okay. We just believe in making your next favorite t-shirt, you know, and we're car guys, so we launched a brand laid back, hoping to just kind of everything old school, bring it back to life and put it on t-shirts and artwork and allow people to kind of still live like they used to, you know, with old cars and old bicycles and just old gas pumps, all that stuff just appeals to us. Yeah. So we decided to launch this brand and go out and hang out with people and we believe in driving our cars so they're not just show cars we want to build them to drive and but we don't care about washing them and all that stuff that makes people uptight you right. know <laughs> right anti uptight right yeah it's it's great because i think sometimes we get a little bit too concerned with all of our electronic devices and or looking perfect and keeping up with the joneses and you guys are completely opposite of all of that it's just all about having have, fun yeah. for us Enjoy the ride, yeah. right? Enjoy getting there, enjoy what you're doing. For sure. And so, so obviously, we'll take a look around at, at I love it, the Jambulance. So cool, what year is this ambulance? 1971, GMC Suburban, three okay. quarter ton. We found it in Montana at a salvage yard and we immediately said, wow, that thing's cool. And so, you know, you can just take a Jambulance and, or an ambulance and turn it into a cool ride, but we took it to the next level. We put a 5.9 Cummins in it. You know, if you got to get somewhere, you got to get there with torque, and we believe in torque. So, uh, the combination of a nice old vehicle that is a little sleeper, you know. Yeah. We have attitude performance, the adjuster in there, so we can crank up the, the torque and the horsepower and the, the turbo a little bit and the boost nice. and make it roll, you know. Nice, and of course you can kick back inside. I noticed there's like a tap and a bean bag. Of course, tunes. Built-in cooler. Bit, yeah, you know what? There is actually a cooler in here, just in case you lop off a finger, so you can keep it on ice, right? right. <laughs> in the ambulance, the jambulance. This is so cool. Thank you. Well, um, so about your relationship with Kicker. How long have you been with Kicker and using Kicker products? I'd say we're going on about five years now. Okay. Yeah, we went on the Hot Rod Power Tour. We went to Stillwater, met uh, one of their engineers who became a friend and ended up meeting Roger and showed Roger what we were doing and, and he's like, well, man, I'd love to send you some gear and, and kind of partner up with you guys a little bit on promotion and, yeah. and it just has transformed all of our vehicles. Kicker just makes such high quality stuff. You know, when you look at just uh, the quality of the sound, the quality of what you're, you're messing with and and we install it all ourselves and, and do everything ourselves when it comes to you know, making them jam. And, and of course, John at Kicker, their global trainer, is a good friend of ours. So having him uh, available with a phone call to make sure we're doing it exactly how we should do it helps out for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, the products will last as long as this thing has lasted for sure. You know what, we really appreciate uh, you working with us and and showing everybody that you can have a good time, chill out a little bit. We love that you have, you gotta have tunes. Right. You gotta have tunes if you're gonna kick back and relax. So, awesome. Well, it's been fun meeting you. Thank Appreciate you. it. You. Check out this guy, your website. Laidbackusa.com. Laidbackusa.com. All kinds of really cool shirts and, and gear. So, anyway, check these guys out. They're awesome. We're at the 2017 SEMA show at the Hyundai booth and I am with Nick Ashby of Rockstar Performance Garage. Behind us is your new 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Holy cow, this thing is on steroids. Tell me a little bit about your build. So, it was just crazy like, to think about what we we're gonna do with this thing this year. You know, in the past we built some cars, we take them out to their proving grounds and everything. But this year it was like, we kind of had to put everything where our mouth was and say, no, we can actually go build and wheel a vehicle. And you know what it takes to put a 35 on something, right? Like you can't even do that with a Jeep without, you know what I mean, without actually, yeah. 
So to think about doing it with a CUV, it's like with smaller platforms, smaller everything, and you're gonna fit something that big inside there, it's like putting a 40 on a JK or something, right? Right. right. So we literally took the idea, drew out some things, did some different things, and then it was just like, crap, like this is actually gonna happen, like we're gonna do this right now. So we hit up King Shocks, designed some coilovers, and we've been doing it now for a couple years. So in, in one way, the build was really easy to do because we've done two or three of these now, so we knew what we were getting into. But the problem is, it's one thing to drive down the street with big tires. It's a whole nother thing to hit the trail with big tires, right? right? Like, as you know. Right. So it's just one of those things, like we actually went to Hell's Revenge two weeks ago before SEMA and wheeled this thing all over. And it was like, it was, it was insane because like, you'll see my face in some of that stuff where I just feel that body just smack. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I don't have rock rails on this thing. Yeah. It's awesome. But we made the entire trail start to finish. We didn't, you know what I mean? We, we bypassed some of the major obstacles just because Hyundai was like, do not completely trash that car. Right. It still has to, to be in the booth. <laughs> That's right. So they're like, but we want you to actually do the trail. So we right. did, like we didn't take any cuts or anything. We did the whole trail. And it was insane because the entire time we're sitting here and we're doing this stuff, I'm just thinking to myself, who builds a car, like takes a 2018 car, starts cutting it everywhere, builds it for SEMA, but prior to SEMA actually takes it willing to Moab. Like most people are like, Putting blankets and pillows over their car before they get into the scene. Don't even run. They're yeah. just here. But you just went out and proved that it actually works. Yes. Your design and your creation and modifications yep. to this work. Although Hyundai did start with a nice uh, all-wheel drive platform yep. and lockers, yep. yeah, yeah. so that's fantastic. You Definitely. obviously did tons of cutting and modifying, like you said, to get those tires up yep. and underneath it. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with Kicker because if you're gonna go hit the trail, you yeah. wanna you wanna get well, you there wanna in style. Jams, you right? need some tunes, yeah. right? Definitely. So why Kicker? Obviously, you use lots of really great brands, but your relationship with Kicker goes way back. Yeah, no, it, it it really does. You know, the guys over there, Charlie, Roger, all those guys. When we first started this garage, started doing what we were doing, they'd had a relationship with Rockstar Energy prior to me doing the whole garage and everything. And it was kind of like in natural ways families do. They're just kind of like, get over here. You're part of our family now. Like, you know how those guys are from Stillwater. So they brought me in and they, they were just like, all right, what do you need to make this thing work? And you know, as, as we progressed with them as builders and in a shop and who's doing like events and promotion and media and all this kind of stuff, we've never left like lost our grassroots, and especially with Kicker. Every time we need some Kicker, it's there. You know what I mean? And the coolest thing about Kicker's array of products is, one, everyone knows Kicker because of their actual quality of product. But two, everyone knows Kicker about their range of products. So what we were able to do with this is, we needed some good beats in this thing, but the problem is, is we also had to fit a nitrous bottle and a power tank, because these things don't have onboard air or any of that kind of stuff, right. so we needed a power tank so we can actually like, move around, air up, air down. And then we needed nitrous because, let's face it, a four-cylinder yes. turbo pushing some 35s without gears right. needs, needs a little bit more horsepower to get around things. So Nitrous Express hooked us up with like a full wet injection system. It's pretty rad. And then, you know, we sat there and we were like, how can we put like an awesome kicker system in here? But the problem is, is when you build a concept vehicle like this and it's in a booth like this, you can't lose like those functional features that people like seeing right. in their regular day cars, right? If they're going to critique it and go, yes, but that doesn't work normally. It's Correct. here, but it doesn't work. Exactly. So you have all these we different all sizes stuff. that you will fit. Yeah. So we're looking at it. We're like, well, do we just go crazy and put like a solo barrack back there and make right. the entire thing just, you know, some badass car audio? Or do we go in there and say, okay, what would the average person want in this car so they don't lose the space for groceries or things like that? So we ended up taking a couple CRT10s and um, dual, dual two ohm, 800 watts to both of them with a KX amp. And it's just kind of like, they're chilling back there. They're all hidden. So you can drop the flap and you don't even know there's an audio system, nitrous or power tank back there. Right. But when you're in there and you're cranking it, Bluetooth base control now with those KX amps. And we're just like, Kick it up and let's rock. Now you never even hear the knobby tires going down the road, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, like <laughs> the danger hit and all that kind right. of stuff, right? Right, you can just ignore all of that body damage that you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's really cool. I mean, you do everything from Raptors and Jeeps and now Hyundai Santa Fe. Yeah. It's incredible. But the huge range of of different sizes, is, that's what we've seen from most yeah. of the builders. They like the versatility. Definitely. You can either have it in your face or hide it away neatly. One of my so favorite things that Kicker has in they're always like, no, push the car up. Push the car. I love their VSS stuff. I really do. And the reason I love it is because me as a builder, I'm time. Like, you know that. Like, when you're working on stuff, it's all about time. How can you save as much time and effectively get done what you need to get done? Most of the times with the VSS system, it's going to work just as good as anything else you're going to put in that car. On a standpoint, unless you're trying to go out and do a base qualification or something, or you know what I mean, you're trying to compete car audio-wise, 
it's going to be there and it's going to work. To a Correct. Software. And, and you know, like a lot of the things people understand is when you plug all that stuff in, it actually changes the way your entire car stereo operates. Right. So I wish they would have had something for this because I could just be like, bop, bop, done. But they didn't, so I decided to go, okay, well, that's bad. I have to put in more bass. So. <laughs> more bass is, all, right? is never so a bad thing, right? So whether we build the Raptors or Jeeps or now a Hyundai, those things, that's the thing I love about them, the versatility, is yeah. that I can put the big audio in there, or I can put the stuff in there that, like you're saying, is neat, nice, tucked away, and gives me everything I want. All right, very good. And, and you're hard on your stuff, so at least you got some reliable tunes. To exactly, you like you're broke down, stuck down, so at least you have some good tunes to kick it while you're waiting. Tunes. All right, well, Nick Ashby, Rockstar Performance Thanks. Garage, you build some great cars. Always good to see you. Awesome. He's the man.